Hello friends, in today's video, we shall see the impact of import quotas and tariffs on consumer surplus and producer surplus. First of all, let us see the impact of a no trade situation and a free trade situation on consumers and producers. In the diagram, X axis represents quantity in millions of units per year and Y axis represents the price in dollars per unit. The domestic demand curve and the domestic supply curve is given here and the demand and supply curve intersects at point X wherein the market reaches is in equilibrium. So we have the equilibrium quantity as 6 million units per year and the equilibrium price as $8 per unit. Now here the consumer's willingness to pay for the product is $20 while the actual price of the product is only $8. So the consumer surplus is given by the triangle A. Similarly the domestic producer is willing to sell the product at $2 per unit whereas the actual price of the product in the market is $8. So the producer surplus is given by the triangle B. Now suppose that that the same product is sold at $4 per unit in foreign markets. So we can say that the global price or the world price of the product is $4 per unit while in the domestic market the price for the same product per unit is $8. So we can clearly see that the world price is lesser than the domestic price. Now if the country follows a free trade regime then the domestic consumers will want to import the good. They will be able to do so without any restriction. At the price of $4 per unit the domestic demand is $8 million units whereas the domestic producers are willing to supply only 2 million units at the world price of $4. It is to be noted that if the domestic consumers start to import the product at a price of $4 then the domestic producers will also lower their price to $4. Why? Because if they keep their price constant at $8 itself then no domestic consumers would purchase their product as they can get the product at a much lower price from the foreign market. So if the domestic producers do not lower their price to the world price then they will lose the entire market. Now we can see a change in the consumer surplus as well as the producer surplus when compared to a no trade situation. That is this red triangle represents the consumer surplus in a free trade situation whereas this blue small triangle represents the producer surplus in a free trade situation and the additional domestic demand of 6 million units per year will be imported by the country. So under a free trade regime the domestic consumer surplus is greater than the domestic producer surplus as well as we can see that there is no dead weight loss. So in a no trade situation the consumer surplus was triangle A whereas in a free trade regime the consumer surplus has increased from triangle A to B, C and E portions. Whereas in a no trade situation the producer surplus was triangle B while under a free trade regime producer surplus has decreased drastically from triangle B to triangle L. So clearly we can see that the domestic domestic consumer surplus is greater than the domestic producer surplus under free trade regime and also there is no dead weight loss. Since it is clearly visible that the domestic producers stand to lose with free trade, they will often attempt to restrict or even eliminate the imports. Since the domestic producers are suffering under a free trade regime, the government will try to protect the domestic producers by imposing import quotas and tariffs. Now let's see what happens to the domestic consumer surplus as well as the domestic producer surplus when the government imposes a tariff. Now suppose that government sets a tariff of $2 per unit to the world price of $4. It means the total price per unit is now $6. At this new price of $6, the domestic demand is 7 million units whereas the domestic supply is 4 million units. Here also, the domestic producers will lower their price to $6 per unit and at this price, the domestic producers are willing to produce only 4 million units of the product whereas the domestic demand at this price of $6 per unit is 7 million units. So the additional domestic demand of 3 million units per year will be imported. So when tariff is imposed by the government, the consumer surplus is represented by the red triangle whereas the producer surplus is represented by this green triangle. Here, compared to a free trade regime, by implementing tariff, the domestic consumer surplus has decreased whereas the domestic producer surplus has increased. The area H and J represents domestic government's revenue from the tariff imposed. The 3 million units is the additional domestic demand which will be imported from foreign suppliers. So the foreign producers will be supplying the product at $4 per unit whereas the domestic consumers will have to pay $2 as tariff for each unit which makes the total price 
price per unit of the product as $6. So, from the 3 million units imported, $2 per unit will be the domestic government's revenue from the tariff imposed. Whereas the triangles G and K represents the deadweight loss to the foreign suppliers. A tariff of $2 per unit creates the same equilibrium as an import quota of 3 million units per year. Suppose that government sets an import quota of 3 million units per year at a price of $6 per unit. At this price, the domestic demand is 7 million units whereas the domestic supply is 4 million units which is same as what we have seen in the case of tariffs. And the additional domestic demand is 3 million units per year which will be imported and that is also equal to the import quota set by the government. So here, the consumer surplus is represented by the red triangle whereas the producer surplus is represented by the green triangle. Here also, the consumer surplus is lesser than under a free trade regime whereas the domestic producer surplus is greater than free trade regime and the areas G, H, J, K represents dead weight loss while the rectangle portion H, J represents the foreign supplier's revenue that is the domestic government has set an import quota of 3 million units per year at a price of $6 so the foreign suppliers will be selling that product to other nations at $4 per unit whereas the foreign suppliers will be selling the same product to this nation at a price of $6 per unit. So, the import quota of 3 million units at a price of $6 becomes the foreign supplier's revenue. Now, suppose if the domestic demand increases beyond 7 million units per year, that is, the domestic producer is supplying 4 million units per year plus the 3 million units per year is the import quota which is imported from the foreign country. So, the total 7 million units of domestic demand is met. Now, suppose if the domestic demand increases beyond 7 million units per year, then no additional units of the product can be imported because the government has already set an import quota. So, any additional demand will have to be met by the domestic producers by producing more output. In that case, the new domestic supply curve will look something like this. That is, up to 4 million units of the product is supplied by the domestic producers. From 4 million to 7 million units is supplied by the foreign producers in the form of imports and after 7 million units, additional demand will be produced and supplied by the domestic producers itself. Here, we can see all the three diagrams that we have just discussed. So, we will compare the domestic consumer surplus as well as the domestic producer surplus in the case of a no trade and a free trade situation and compare it with the case when the government imposes tariffs and import quotas. When the government implements tariffs and import quotas, the domestic consumer surplus is less with tariff and import quotas when compared with the domestic consumer surplus in a free trade situation. Whereas, the domestic consumer surplus is more in the case of tariffs and import quotas when compared to a no trade situation. And coming to the domestic producer surplus, when tariffs and import quotas are implemented, the domestic producer surplus is more when compared to a free trade situation, but it is less under a tariff and import quota when compared to a no trade situation. Also, in the case of tariffs, the rectangle HJ represents the government's revenue from tariff, whereas under import quota, the rectangle HJ represents foreign suppliers' revenue.